right, so um, <clears throat> hopefully you're here because you understand that WordPress is really pretty awesome. And one of the things I talk about really often, so just a little bit about me, but I'm not doing this kind of crap. I actually uh, put together WordPress websites. I consult for places like the Red Cross, IFA, pretty big uh, nonprofits, team and stuff like that. And all of them are using WordPress, believe it or not. CNN uses WordPress. Uh, you know, you would be amazed at the level of enterprise companies using WordPress, you know. Um, it's incredibly flexible. And there are a lot of content management systems out there. Raise your hand if you don't know what a content management system is or CMS. At this point, I will not make fun of you for raising your hand for any of these questions. Okay. So CMS is a content management system, and here's how I describe it. So previously, what happened was somebody built your website and said, call me if you have any problems, we need to update it. And when you call them back, if you ever got a hold of them, they'd say, great, so I'm charging you $75 an hour to update it, and you know, occasionally you couldn't get a hold of them because they were off smoking pot or snowboarding or whatever web program was doing their screen. Time. And it made it really hard to keep your website up to date. And it used to be that how often did you really need to update your website? But we know now that you need to update it really, really often. So WordPress is not just a blog. I mean, in fact, if you're using it as a blog, you're using one-tenth of what WordPress is good for. It is really great as a website manager or a content management system. So when I talk to clients and I try to tell them what a content management system is, I said, think of it as a picture in a frame. And the frame is the CMS. Um, you can change everything in the frame. But you can't change the frame. You can, but you're going to have to generally come back to me to help you do that. But it allows you to change all the text, all the pictures, things like that relatively easily without it being a big pain. And you don't have to really know HTML or PHP. It's sort of like using Microsoft Word online. And one of the reasons I think WordPress is so awesome is because it's accessible from anywhere. So particularly for nonprofits, if you're off in a field somewhere rescuing oil-soaked puppies, you know, you can still log into your website and update it, things like that. Okay, so uh, big piece about WordPress, if you don't have WordPress yet, um, you can go to the Genius Bar on the 11th floor and they'll help you get set up with a WordPress site. We're not gonna do installation today. So we're going to assume you have a WordPress site either through wordpress.com or you have downloaded it and installed it on your own server through wordpress.org. Does anybody even care about the difference between .com and .org? Okay, so um, WordPress is a piece of software that lives out there. You install it on a server. And what's really nice is that most web hosts now have a very easy way to do like a one-click install. If you actually have to install WordPress, it's a total bitch. I don't even know what it sounds. But if you have the right web host or like cPanel, you just push a button and it's done. Yes? Okay. So, uh, okay, so, pardon me? <laughs> I don't even think we'll, so, so it exists out there, you can install it, and it's, it's pretty easy. And if you install it on your own server, you get a bunch of, of benefits, including being able to change more stuff, use more themes, things like that. Now there are a number of companies who are saying, we understand that's a big step, we'll just do it for you. So you can just sign up and either for free at WordPress.com or for like 14 bucks a month at like Pagely, who's one of our sponsors. We'll give you your own domain, you know, we'll handle all that for you. And you can just come in and do it with some limited options. You know, you get some things and you get some working access. So I always say WordPress.com is a great place to start because it's free. So you go in, you get set up. You can always export stuff out later if you need to. So if you don't have a blog, you can certainly, in this time while I'm talking here, whip out the laptop, go to WordPress.com, and sign up for one. Okay, that's not good. There we go. Okay, but well we're going to assume that, in fact, you have installed. And again, if you need to know anything more about installation, that's a Genius Bar issue. Hit the Genius Bar. We've stocked it with genuinely pretty intelligent people. Um, uh, okay, so... We're at the dashboard. I went ahead and literally, as you guys were sitting here, installed WordPress. And this is a completely blank WordPress install. So now we're gonna, I just upgraded it, we're all good. So I'm gonna go back to the main dashboard. Dashboard. No, really, dashboard. So the Wi-Fi is not so much. Okay. I'm going to open up the front end. So when we start, you understand that the dashboard is the back, and then you have the front. Ah, there we go. So this is what it looks like right now. We've done absolutely nothing to it. You have the default Kubrick theme, and isn't it lovely? 
it's fabulous, right? This is going to change. Uh, sometime this year, there's going to be a new default theme. You don't have to care. It's not important. But you always start with a fresh install. You get one. It preloads a you know a test post. It preloads a test comment. Uh, you know all that stuff. So it gives you sort of a little bit of a template. This is the absolute base. There's nothing here. This is the front end. So let's go back to the dashboard and I'm going to talk a little bit about posts versus pages, because I think a lot of times beginners don't understand how powerful this aspect of WordPress is. And here's how I always explain. It. So, I'm, and I'm always going to approach WordPress from a website rather than a blog. You have a blog, great, you can use these ideas, but let's talk about it in terms of a website. So, you generally understand that websites have pages in them usually, correct? A page is a static thing. It lives someplace. It's, it, you can always go back and edit it, but it's a static thing. It lives somewhere. Posts are dynamic. They can go anywhere. That's what makes them awesome. And you can go back and edit them too, but the point is that you can move them around. So when we talk about websites, there are things like maybe a contact us page, an about page, um, you know, list of links, things like that. That they live someplace, they're static, they're, they're, they're probably not gonna change much. You always want them to be accessible as opposed to time sensitive, dynamic things that would go on your post. So you would use posts obviously for a blog. Um, but like, let's talk about WordCamp Boston. So that's, a one, that's one website I know everybody has seen, right? Um, so we had pages, obviously, all along the top, but then we use posts for a variety of things. And let's pull it up, actually, just so I can sort of demonstrate that. Come on. <clears throat> okay, so in this, well, that's really loud, sorry. <laughs> in this bar up here at the top, these are pages. And we have sub pages and things like that, and we'll get into that in a moment. But you can actually see that we have posts. Come on, there we go. And until today, the posts were flowing to the front page. So all of these, I'm so glad it's not my idea, are flowing underneath. And the point was we can move them along. So we have categories that control the posts, and we'll get into that in a moment. But it changes where they move things. So in terms of thinking about the information in your website, you want to think, is this a static item? Or is this a dynamic item that we wanna, we're going to want to keep going? And don't think just in terms of a blog. Um, think in terms of speaker bios. We use posts for speaker bios. Um, and then we decided to shoot them in one direction. Um, you could use posts for, uh, for, oh, like under location. You know, we could have used them for various places to go eat. You know, one for each restaurant. And then said, send all the restaurant posts to this page. So, I mean, it's really amazingly dynamic, and, and that's the thing that we want to focus on. So, content in WordPress is determined by posts and pages. Functionality in WordPress is determined by plugins. So, for a long time, people have been confused about what's the difference between a plugin and a widget, right? We're going to get to widgets. They are not the same thing anymore. So, let's just talk about plugins. And Adrian Richards is going to do a pretty fascinating run through on plugins for you guys this afternoon. So we're not going to talk about specific plugins right now. We're going to talk about plugins as a theory. Um, okay. Uh, so right now, basically, what your blog has the ability to do is to post pages and posts. That's pretty much it. If you want to add a contact form, there's a plugin for that. If you want to add a list of books from Amazon that you've enjoyed reading, there's a plugin for that. If you want to bring in Yelp or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, there's a plugin for that. It's, it's, it's bigger than the App Store. I mean, it's, there's a plugin out there to do pretty much anything that you can imagine. And frequently, when I need WordPress to do something, I literally Google WordPress plugin, what I want to do. And you will find something out there, and you cannot believe the stuff. I mean, today, we, yesterday, we said, well, we need a donate function on our site. WordPress plugin donation, and there might be 30 different plugins for that. So anytime you want your site to do something, it's literally just about sitting down and considering what is it I wanted to do, go out there and find a plugin for it. Um, okay, so going back to the front, you will notice, and this does not have to be true, by the way, but that most WordPress themes have a live content area, and then they have a sidebar. This is what we call the sidebar. And sometimes you see it has two sidebars. Sometimes when people are getting really cheeky, it has four sidebars, and then you can type something in their comments like, that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Don't you really need four sidebars, really? Um, 
So sidebar is a term we're going to use because really it doesn't always have to live in the side. <laughs> Again, this is a thing of functionality. So in your basic theme, of course, it's on the side. And you see that on most sites. Even WordCamp Boston, our sidebar lives on the side. Pretty boring. But what goes in the sidebar is determined by you. They're called dynamic sidebars. And you can change the widgets that you put in the sidebar. You can make it do absolutely anything you want. So by default, it has pages, it has archives. This is what it is right now, and I'll show you how to get into this in a couple minutes as we start to go through the dashboard. But just know that this is completely changeable, and that's what makes WordPress really cool, is you can throw stuff into the sidebars. Um, yes. They are. So this is usually the widget header, meta, blog, roll, archives. And when we open up the dashboard, you'll start to see that. I should stop walking and be here so I can actually demonstrate these things. Okay. Um, and let me see, is there anything about the back end that we need to talk about? Okay, so in order to get widgets, since they do not magically appear, and this is where the confusion comes, you download them as a plugin. In the ultimate in confusion, plugins are not, all plugins are not widgets, but all widgets are in fact plugins. <laughs> So they're plugins that have functionality that do things like um, uh, add a line to my posts, you know, at the bottom, add a footer to my posts, add uh, separate categories. Those are not widgets. They're not things you can throw into the sidebar. But if you want a widget, like I want a calendar, I want to bring in my Yelp stream, I want to bring in my Twitter stream, I want to have a Facebook fan page on the side. Yes, you would still have to download a plugin for that, find the plugin, and then it will add a widget to your widget repository that you can add to your sidebar. I know that's like completely vague. It'll become a little bit more obvious. Do you guys, who's the mic actually? Go forth, my friend. <laughs> this woman here. <laughs> uh, I might have missed it, but what did you say the difference is the, between a widget and a plugin? I know you said that some are all widgets plugins, plugins add functionality but... to your site. Okay. A widget's only function is to live in your sidebar. So widgets are just like little things, little elves that live it's in the sidebar. Yeah, it's. A it's a widget. It's literally, I mean, I know widget has become this sort of innocuous term, but originally it was like a like a cubular, like little, it's a, it's a widget. It's a, you okay. can put it anywhere, and it will, in fact, become more obvious as we start to okay. open up the dashboard. But if I want a PayPal button, that's a plugin. That is, uh, that is a plugin and a widget. It's both. In order to get the widget, you need the plugin. So if you, if you let's say you want uh, in your sidebar, well, let, let's look at let's look at the word Camp Boston sidebar really quickly. Okay, we have a donate thing here. This is a widget. In order to get the widget, we downloaded a plugin. We downloaded a donation plugin to live in our sidebar. Um, and let's see what else do we have down here. These are text widgets. Um, trying to think. Okay, so here we have a Twitter widget, right? Yes. So. Yes, that would be correct. So what, what she was saying, I don't know if you all heard it, was the plugin is the code that makes the widget show up. That's probably a better way if that, if that helps. Um, and, and again, we're, we're going to now start to open up the dashboard so you'll begin to understand that. If I can find my mouse. Okay, here we go. All right. So understanding, and I'm just going to go through very, very quickly the posts and pages since it seems like most of you already understand this. So. If I go to posts, I apologize, this is not the fastest connection in the world. So as I said, it comes with a default post. So you can always delete that or just change it or edit it. Um, does everybody understand the difference between edit and quick edit? OK. So if you need to open the post up to change the content, you would need to click on edit and open it up and actually look at all the content, which we'll do right now. I think everyone can hear me, right? Yes. <laughs> Me, they never have a problem hearing. <laughs> I carry. Okay, so you have your title, you have your content, you have your excerpt, and we'll get to the excerpts in a second. Um, but if you need to actually edit the content, you need to press edit. But if all I needed to do was change a few details, I could 
boy, I really am having trouble seeing. Okay, there we go. I could hit quick edit. Let me do that again. Quick edit. And now I can do a couple things. I can change the title. I can change the date. Um, I can make it a private post if I need to. Um, and again, I'll get into that. I just want to show you what you can do from, from quick edit. I can change the categories, the tags. Um, you know, I can change some pretty basic information just from quick edit. Uh, or I could just delete it or I could view it. But let's open it up actually. And let's go through the parts of a post because the parts of a page are very, very similar. So you have your title. So let's change this to our first post as a class. We're just hanging out at work camp. Boston working on our first post. Okay, so you have your title and now we have put in some content and let's go through these buttons really quickly. You have bold, italic, strike through. If you want to do a bullet list, obviously you can. These are wuzzy one. Some content. Go through these wuzzy Go through these wuzzy one. You have bold, wuzzy one. Bold, wuzzy one. Bold, wuzzy one. You have date. Bullet list. Date. Bullet list. Bullet list. Date. These are wuzzy. Date. Date. And dates go through these dates quickly. Dates you bold dates like strike dates. If you William have bullet list, William have to slay you kill him. Have these are William have some content. Have go through these William have to go through these William have you bold him have like bold him have like you William have bullet list William have to slay um these are um some content um and um go through these um quickly um you bold um like strike um if you um bullet list um you slay you um these are William look at all some content. We go through these right now. We go through these. You quickly. I think bold. everyone can hear it. You bullet list. You bullet list. You look at all these. These are what we can change. Them. And go through these. Change them quickly. And you bold change. Change them quickly. And you bold change. Like strength. If you change the bullet list. And obviously you change. These are what we can change. Go through these. Alt pose. Go through these. Alt pose. You quickly. Alt pose. Like bold. Alt pose. Like you alt pose. Bullet list. Alt pose. Bullet list. Alt pose. These are what we can change. These are what we can change. Alt pose. And I'll post go through these I'll post quickly. So you bold so extra so if you so bullet list so you can so these are so content so go through these so go through these so you quickly okay here we go 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 and okay here we go through these okay here we go quickly okay here we go you bold okay here we go extra makes the wood if you makes the wood list makes the wood sleep you can makes the wood these are what makes the wood content makes the wood go through these makes the wood go through these makes the wood quickly makes the wood bold makes the wood makes the wood list list these are what some content and go through these quickly you bold extra if you Bullet list. I think. Okay. Slay. You can. Think. Okay. These are what I think. Okay. Some content. I think. Okay. Go through these. I think. Okay. Go through these. I think. Okay. You bold. I think. Okay. Bold. I think. Okay. Bullet list. I think. Okay. Slay. I think. Okay. Bullet list. I think. Okay. Slay. I think. Okay. Slay. These are what some content. And go through these quickly. You bold. Like strike. If you bullet list. You slay. You can. These are what some content. Let's go through these. Let's go through these. Let's look at you quickly. Bold. 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 And go through these quickly. You bold like strike. If you want bullet list, obviously you can. These are what some content. Go through the end. Go through these. You bold like bold like bullet list. Bullet list. These are what some content. And go through these quickly. You bold like strike. You want bullet list? Obviously, you can. These are what some content. Go through the end. Go through these. You like bold? Like bold? Like you want bullet list? Bullet list? These are what some content. And go through these quickly. You bold? Like strike? If you want bullet list? Obviously, you can. These are what some content. Go through the end. Go through these. You like bold? Like bold? Like you want bullet list? Bullet list? These are what some content. And go through these quickly. You bold like strong. 
you bullet list. Obviously, you can't. These are some content. Go through these. Go through these. Go through these. You have bullet list. Bullet list. Bullet list. These are some content. Go through these. Go through these. Go through these. Go through these. Go Go through these. 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 Go Go through these. 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 Go through these.
Like strap. You want to do it less. Obviously, you can. These are rules. Some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. Like Obviously, you can. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Obviously, look at all. And we go through these quickly. Everyone can hear. Obviously, you can look at all. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. Break You These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a Go through these quickly. Break you These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these. quickly. You can. These are rules. Some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these. Quickly. You These are rules. Some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. These are some kind of. Go through these. Go through these. You have a goal. Go through these quickly. These are some kind of. Go through these quickly. Go through these quickly. These are in contact. Go through these quickly. Go through these quickly. These are rules in contact. Go through these quickly. These are in contact. Go through these quickly. 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 Go through these quickly.